OK. Welcome to the Peace Museum here in Bradford. It's been going for 20 years. Many of us may not realise that it's here at all, but uh, Charlotte, you're the curator. Tell us about this museum and some of your favourite things. OK, so right now we're in the main gallery, and the stuff here you can see is uh, just a small portion of stuff from Green and Common. Uh, so Green and Common was um, a camp where women and men campaigned to get rid of the nuclear weapons in the airbase. And if we follow down here, we even have some of the fence that they pushed on and the amazing lock that they chained themselves to. And tell us why you think this museum is important. Perhaps show me something that you think really grabs people's attention. And uh... It's important because we're the only peace museum in the UK. Uh, there are many war museums out there and we want to tell the untold stories of peace. Uh, if we follow through to the next gallery, we've got some uh, really interesting statues about CEOs. Now, CEOs, what's CEOs? CEOs are conscious, of, conscious objectors. Conscious so objectors. So they um, say they do not want to fight the pacifists uh, and they range from not fighting at all to um, helping out in ambulances in the world wars. So these statues tell the story of um, Richmond Cast 16 and Brocklesby Brothers. One was a soldier and one was a CEO and he was taken to Richmond and imprisoned there. I can see something here from surely World War II, is that right? Uh, yes, it might be World War One, so it's War Must Be Renounced as well as Denounced, and it's Peace Pledge Union. And what we've got here are often banners from protests that were seen on TV through the years, through yes. the decades, through yep. the generations. So this gallery through here is a contemporary protest exhibition, and we even have placards from, say, the um, Women's Marches in 2017, and from the Stop Trident Marches in 2016. Well, let's go and talk now. We'll take a nice leisurely walk to have a look at this museum. There's lots to see here. Let's go and have a chat with Clive, who's the chair of the trustees. And I guess it's partly your job, Clive, hiding there. It's partly your job to make sure that there's a bright future for this museum, because you've been going for 20 years. Have. But the future's a little bit in doubt in terms of where you'll be and what you'll be able to show. We've got great ideas for the future and, and big plans as well because we're, we're looking to move to somewhere that's much more accessible, looking to move to somewhere that uh, um, not only more people can come, but we're bursting at the seams. We've got, full, we've got a collection that we want to have in, um, in much better places, in much bigger environment. We've got old ideas, we've got so much to tell people to change society for the better. Because we're not just about protest, we're about building a new society, building a, a peaceful world. And, the, and we want to build a better and more peaceful society. We have a fantastic education program with thousands of, of young people who uh, um, learn about peace through us. And we need better premises to do it. We're do going to be good. Is now a good time to really focus on why this museum's here? Because people are worried about the future of the world, whether it's nuclear armament or disarmament and uh, you know, terrorism and the rest. We are an inspiration for peace because we have stories of people who've worked for peace, strive for peace throughout their lives in the past, and that encourages and inspires people to work for peace today. We need peace more than ever. We are the hope for the future and an inspiration for generations to come. Okay, that'll do.